Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And today I'm going to film the BioSteel All Canadian game, which I know is a lot of American viewers watching this, but it's basically like the national high school all-star game here in Canada. And some of the coaches for the league that I work for on a full-time basis, the Canadian Elite Basketball League, are coaching the game today. So I'm going to get coverage of the coaches doing their thing, but I'm also going to get coverage of all the players. I know and do some work for one of the prep schools who has a few players in the game, so I'm going to be getting some footage for them. But yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, so I just want to bring you along, show you my game day process, and go through the day and kind of give you like a behind the scenes look, I guess, at a nationally televised big high school event up here in Canada. Anyways, let's get to it. So I got to the venue extra early to get set up and make sure I had power. I was actually the first media person there, which was awesome because I kind of got to lay all my stuff out and set everything up the way that I like so that I can get in and out of the media station easily. Then I got on my laptop and quickly set up some project templates for both the men's game and the women's game to kind of speed up my process for in-game edits since we were making edits in real time to go out on CEBL social media accounts. And then I had a little bit of free time, so I grabbed myself a BioSteel, which they were giving away for free at the event, and set up a microphone for some pretty standard player interviews that we had to capture for an upcoming project. Uh, it's a great honor. Like I've worked to get here, and I'm super happy that I got picked, and I'm just going to play my hardest and have fun. So we filmed the first one for the women's game, and and then I kind of had like 10-15 minutes post-interview to focus on getting B-roll to accompany the player who we had just interviewed. And yeah, after that, we basically just got right into the game. So once the women's game wrapped up, I just edited a couple more plays from that game so we'd have enough content to go out on social media. In between the men's game and the women's game, we filmed a few interviews of the men, similar to how we did the women, and we actually had to do three interviews total for the men's game. It's a huge honor, so I'm really excited for the opportunity, and uh, it's been a great weekend. So. I enjoy rebound, I enjoy finishing around the rim, watching the game growing up as a kid, and seeing all the great Canadians playing it before me. So. Just knowing that I'm in the position that they were at some point is a, it's a huge honor to me. After those, I made sure to film lots of warm-ups because the dunk lines were going off, and then we finally got into the last of the two games. Also, if you're wondering why I'm leaning on voiceover so much, it was super loud in this venue and I just could not talk to the camera. Hope you don't mind. Now let's get into that final game.
All right, so I'm back somewhere quiet. I'm very tired, but that was a very fun afternoon. Both games were awesome. Like the vibe in the gym was just so good the whole time. I think that everyone was like really happy to have an event like this, showcasing like up and coming Canadian talent like back in the city. Cause I know that like with the pandemic, this hasn't happened in like two or three years or whatever it's been. Um, but yeah, I had a great time. I'm sorry I couldn't really talk more like while I was at the venue and like bring you through what I was doing step by step and had to relay on voiceover a lot because like it was just so insane in there. Like it was so loud and I couldn't really get away to like do anything. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you were able to take something away from this and learn something or be inspired by something. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one on a regular basis. And I'd love to have you around for that. And if you have any other questions, any other comments, you just want to say, hey, just drop it down in the comment section. I'll get back to you down there. Anyways, that'll be all for this one. So until next time, peace.